In this video, we are going to be pairing our Garmin Messenger device to our smartphone using the Garmin Messenger smartphone app, and then we're going to get it activated against the service plan. So what we're gonna do here is grab our Garmin Messenger and turn it on. And once it's started, we're going to pick our operating language, which is in English. And then we're gonna go through some of the intro messages here, but basically, the device will tell us that the next step is to go and download the Garmin Messenger app on our phone, either Android or iPhone, and then we can continue the process there. So we're going to download it. We're going to open it up. We can sign in to our Garmin Explore app or a new account, but we're going to skip to the pairing stage. And this is very similar to any time that you've paired another Garmin device against Garmin Explore or your smartwatch in Garmin Connect, same thing. You can notice here that my Garmin Explore account is not road post compatible. I'll deal with that a little bit later because I am a Canadian inReach user for many years. We'll deal with that later. But you can see here that the program downloaded a software update and now it's downloaded and transferred it over to the device and now we just need to activate the software or update the software manually on the device. So we're just going to grab our device go down to settings and we're going to go down to a system and then from there we are going to try to find a software update which is usually the before last or last one there it is whoop went too far software update we're going to press ok and now we're going to update the device and now we're going to press ok or start the update press yes and then now we're just going to let it sit this is going to take Quite a few minutes so i'm going to skip over uh that amount of time because i don't think you're interested in seeing that for 10 minutes but once it restarts again we should say on our smartphone that we're connected or in this case you'll see the gear progress you'll see the app go from not connected to connected and once we're back to connected uh, we should be in a good spot here that's updated all the software updates now and the device will want to activate and this is what we're going to do right now we're going to go to explore.garmin.com and then we're going to create a new inreach account and that's just because i had an old canadian inreach account i just can't activate the messenger on here so i'm just going to create a brand new account from scratch and uh, go from there now you can see here that we can pair with our explore account inreaches or other garmin handhelds but now we're gonna go take a look at our service plans. We have the choice between personal plan or professional plan. There's some pros and cons. Obviously, if you're going to use your inReach for work, professional might be a little bit more flexible, but the personal plan is what we want. If we tap on the chart and display link at the little bottom of the personal plan, we can go through this wizard and go see all the details of what every service plan has to offer in terms of text messaging, uh, intervals, SOS calls, annual plan, uh, the annual fee. Make sure you go down to the bottom to look at the fine print because uh, there might be some differences for the total cost of ownership when you're going through this. Next up, we're gonna start our activation. So we're gonna go on our device and we're gonna enter our, our numbers in here in authorization codes to add it up. And then we're gonna enter our new Garmin account here. I'm just gonna create one from scratch for this purpose here. So I'm gonna do that. And then once that is done, we got our account created. We got our inReach account details on here. And now we're gonna go through this wizard where we're gonna add a lot of personal information. So I'm gonna be skipping through this fairly quickly here, but first our basically our billing information. And then after that, we're gonna enter our SOS emergency contacts. This is whoever needs to be contacted. If you do have the SOS triggered, uh, then the monitoring service can either contact one or the other based on that. This is a required step, you need to do this. After that, we can select a service plan. So again, we can either choose a 12 month or yearly contract or a monthly contract, which is the freedom plans. Really make sure you go over every uh, line item in the fine print to really gauge whether or not which is the best value for you and how much you're going to be using it. My preference has always been more of the monthly plan, it gives me a little bit more flexibility to change plans, suspend it and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go from that and then from there we're gonna choose the tier service plan. I'm gonna choose the safety plan 
which is the lowest cost one. I can click on the details and I can get the fine print. The biggest one here is that if I do suspend the device because I'm not using it for an extended uh, period of time, it will be charged $0 a month. But also note that I will have an annual fee of $50 Canadian, might be a little bit less in US of course. That is a little bit less than the contract plan where their annual fee is a little bit less. So really take note of all the additional fees that you'll have on here. So we're going to select safety plan and that's really it. That's all uh, I have here. I'm going to tap on next. Next is a little bit more information about the SOS. So used to be the service, the monitoring service used to be called GEOS. Garmin bought them about two years ago. So now it's the International Emergency Response Coordination Center in Texas somewhere. They will monitor all the satellite SOS devices, InReach, Zolio, and some of the other ones on there. So, and it'll give you a better explanation as how that works. So it's two-way communication between them and the monitoring service. You can cancel the SOS. Uh, there's constant feedback. So that's really good to know. Next up is an optional search and rescue insurance. A uh, couple plans here. I'm based in Canada. I don't really think this really applies to me, so I'm gonna skip this, but you can definitely take a look at this and see if there's something you wanna add on. But we can skip this. And now we're ready to finally activate our inReach. And for that, we need to step away from our desktop or computer, and then we need to grab our inReach device and we need to get to our activation screen, hit okay, and click okay or press okay to actually start the activation. So we're gonna do that but we need to go outside so that the device can get a clear view of the sky, which is very important with these devices. So it's outside, this is gonna take about five, six minutes where it's gonna send and wait for the response from the servers. And from there, we should see a check mark to say that activation is complete. And then from there, you can go to uh, the service plan section here on the device. You can double check that your service plan is what we've selected earlier, and it is, so that's good. And also last thing you wanna do is do a test. So this is a free, doesn't count against your service plan, and that just sends a test message up to the inReach servers and it will send a reply back. This will take quite a few minutes, so we'll do a test. We'll let that run. We can go back to our browser. We can see that on the portal, the activation was successful. And you got a few last instructions of how you can complete the activation and how you send messages to people, either to an email address or a mobile number. It's easier to send to a mobile number because you can the recipient can directly reply. If you send it to an email address, you can see here there's gonna be a link, they're gonna to have to open up a web page and reply. It's a little bit more cumbersome, but uh, you can definitely use uh, messages or send the messages. Both will be 160 characters in length. And once we get through that, we're made finally at our inReach portal, get through the welcome prompts. And from here, this is where you're gonna manage your account manage your service plans, manage your contacts, your presets. You also have your map tab that you can view any of your tracking activities on the messenger. You'll be able to view that history here and uh, you'll be able to plug in your map, share and connect to your social media accounts. And now let's take a final look to our inReach messenger. Our test was successful. What we can do here, we can browse on the device. We can see that we have a message. We can't access it via that main screen. So we have to go back here and let's see here, not here. We're gonna go here to messages. We're gonna open that up and we can see that our message is right there. If we go to our messenger app on our smartphone, here I'm gonna log in here with my new account and you can see here everything's filling up. I can just simply go to the messages tab at the bottom and we will be able to see uh, the email. So I can either respond via the smartphone app, or I can do a couple different things here on the device. I can delete the message if I wanted to. But mostly, you're probably gonna be using the smartphone app. And there you go, you are good to go with your inReach Messenger.